Oh, well, we well. love Sasha Alexander as medical examiner Dr. Maura Isles on the hit show Rizzoli and Isles. Yes, but she got to mix things up last night as part of the cast of Montbox Presents, the 24-hour plays on Broadway, and fresh off of a whirlwind production, Sasha joins us live right now. Thank you for being here because we know you're tired. <laughs> you're you look great. Do I look good? Do I look no, good? but tired you, you were people. telling us in the commercial break, she looks great, but you've been partying all night, the after party after all those plays. You know what? We started on well the 24-hour plays are really in 24 hours right. we meet on we met on Sunday night at 10 p.m. and 20 uh, 24 actors six writers six directors we all put a piece of costume and a prop in a, in a pile and then the writers stay up all night writing an original play based on what you put in the pile or whatever inspired them yeah. the actors for instance could say you know what I feel like I said I, I kind of feel like playing an assassin or a spy <laughs> and and Josh Lucas who was part of the cast he had a real full beard and he said you know I've been growing this beard and I thought it'd be really fun to shave it on stage so the next day <laughs> we come in yesterday morning around 8 o'clock in the morning and we get cast in different plays and we go off and we rehearse all day and we performed last night oh. Oh my and gosh. so all I will tell you is that in our play, which was uh, Natalie Dormer and Zachary Levi and Josh Lucas, myself, it was Great directed cast. by Andy Fickman yeah. and uh, written by uh, Rachel Axler, very funny writer. Uh, Josh got to actually shave his beard on stage and uh, we all played assassins. <laughs> And I spoke a little Serbian, which we threw out wow. there. I got to wear a mustache. We did a little Michael Jackson. All of your so wishes came fun. true, Sasha. All of them, all of them. So that's the fun thing about the 24-hour plays. They're funny. presented by Mont Blanc. They're great. Is it's, there a pressure? I mean, I know as an actor, you have to be able to memorize lines really quickly, but that is very quick. So is there any stress there? Is there pressure thinking, oh, my God, am I going to pull this together? Yes. You guys do it every day, I was about to say. I mean, it's that kind of... We get cards. On. And we get a prompter. <laughs> we got this prompter thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it is really stressful. I, I would say yesterday around 5 p.m., there was a moment we were just sitting up against the walls like, oh, my God, am I going to be able to do this? It's just you just get really kind of, you know, there's ebbs and flows of your energy. Yeah, it has to um, be a rush. Yeah, yeah but then yeah. your adrenaline kicks in. And, you know, we do it for the Urban Arts Partnership. Mont Blanc mm -hmm. and Urban Arts has been... Um, they joined forces like eight years ago, and Mont Blanc sponsors it for them, and uh, they've had great success, raised over two million dollars. Wow! And they're a nonprofit organization that um, that advances like arts education and under right. and, uh, underprivileged public schools, yeah. underfunded schools. So for me, it's very important because I went to a public school. Um, and if it wasn't for my um, drama and art teacher and chorus teacher, I'm not sure I'd be doing Wouldn't this. Wouldn't be here. So, yeah. You know. Thank you, public yes. school teachers. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> we love that. Please. Okay, we got to talk Rosalie and Isles Man. because the show is coming back in February. How excited are you? Very, yeah. very, very. Yes, they pushed um, our dates a little bit, and um, we come back in the end of February. The last four episodes, I believe, of season four. Yes, yes, yes. And yeah. a little bit of season five is coming up. Is that going to be part of that or are you just going to no, do those? No, it's not. No, it's not. We will begin uh, filming season five then, but I don't think it airs. It will not air until June or July of next year. Oh, okay. Now, I know you have a new showrunner for the show. We do. You had to deal with the loss of a yeah. cast member. Yeah. There's been a, I mean, how is everything going around the set? Is everyone... Well, uh, we're currently not filming, yeah. so, um, but, you know, it's very hard to talk about because yeah. it's something that's just... You know, very unexpected. But um, I think we all sort of uh, bonded as a cast, and we're taking our time now to just be with our families and do outside creative things. And, and then we'll come together, and, and the new writers and everyone will have to sort of figure out how they're going to deal with that loss. Yeah. Um, do you know this early where your character goes this season? Or is that something yes, you have to we wait love, for? We'd love yeah. for Mara to have some love in her Don't life. Don't you think? Yes. Yes. Come on. Let's tell the new yes. showrunner yes. that. I mean, come on. If you can be an assassin, an assassin on stage play, then <laughs> damn it, you can have a love interest. I know. All of the serial <laughs> killers and weirdos. She can I know. <laughs> I know. It's true. I know. Jane Jane and Mora both need a little bit of good love. Jane's had more love than yes, Mora has. Yes, she has. Yeah, I agree. We need to find somebody kind of you know somebody interesting and smart and cute and let's hope yeah. that's what we talk about next time you're yes. here yeah <laughs> and we gotta talk about the great clothes you get to wear on the show too and in real life <laughs> all right thank you so thank you it's always so thank good you. to see nice yes. to see you too thank you very much <laughs>